As an analog photographer, I have to deal with huge scans sometimes. And as you know, I'm a very curious person and I really like to play with AI as well. So that's why I built for both tasks a new PC and I wanna show you today if it was worth it or not. I built the whole PC all by myself from scratch and the most important thing for me was to make it uh, as silent as possible and to get the most out of my money. I will put the full part list in the description. Uh, I decided to go for an Core i7 13700K, uh, DDR5 64GB of RAM and one of the most hated graphic cards this day, uh, GeForce RTX 4060 Ti with 16GB because the CUDA cores are really interesting for AI. The power consumption is very low and with 16GB it's very future proof for AI and Photoshop. To make the system as quiet as possible I use a water cooling system from the Arctic, the Arctic Freezer 240 and I use a Be Quiet case with Be Quiet fans, so it should be as quiet as possible. I went for a very simple system without any RGB LEDs, so it's just a black box when I close it, nothing more. As said, you will find the full part list in the description, hit pause to see it now here as well. I will compare this 1600 euro Windows system with a base Mac Mini that cost about 600 euros and a 2700 euros MacBook Pro. I think power consumption is very important these days, so let's turn them on and see how much power they need and how loud they are. As you can see, the Mac Mini has a docking station that has a built-in SSD, so it will consume a little bit more power than a typical M2 Mac Mini. Both Macs were totally silent during the whole testing phase, the fan never spinned up. You can see the noise and the power consumption is on a totally different level. That's the reason I put it in a different room and I only connect remotely to it. During the whole testing it didn't get any louder than that. And I still think for such a powerful Windows system it's pretty quiet. For the first test I import more than 200 images into Lightroom and let's see how long it takes. The images I import here are from three different cameras, a Canon 5D Mark IV, a Canon 5D Mark III and a Canon M50. Time-wise there is not much difference, but power consumption-wise there is. I applied settings to the images with XML files. To make it more interesting, let's see how long it takes. Now you can see how the Windows system with the i7 and the GeForce does its magic. It's much faster than the Macs, but it also consumes much more power. The new denoise function from Lightroom is really a blessing. Let's see how these systems can handle these kind of tasks. Again, the Windows system really kills it. The power consumption is a little bit lower, but still very high. So let's go on with Photoshop and big analog scans. This portrait of Phoebe has above 180 megapixels. For speed testing, I open it in Photoshop, duplicate the layer, apply dust and scratches, do some masking. I also try to zoom in and see how long it takes. And at the end, I just save it again. And then we'll see how long it takes. This is not a super scientific test because my clicks will take uh, different times, but I think the test will be in a 5 to 10 second range. With the Windows system having 64 GB of RAM, the Mac Mini 8 and the MacBook Pro uh, 16, I was super curious about the outcome. <music> I was surprised that there wasn't a bigger difference. The difference in the power consumption was huge. The Windows machine 
needs 10 to 20 times more power than the Max. Now let's see how these machines can handle a huge file with 1.12 gigapixel of resolution and 12 gigabyte of file size. Here you can see how easy the Mac Mini can handle this kind of file size in Photoshop. I did exactly the same test again, like I did with the previous scan, opening, duplicating, dozen scratches, masking, saving. So let's see how these machines can handle this kind of a task. The Mac Mini gave up pretty early because the scratch disk was full. After all the Lightroom actions and the Photoshop actions, 256 gigabytes are just not enough. But what was interesting was the difference between the Windows machine and the MacBook was not that big. I suspected a much bigger difference. Another interesting thing was that saving took on both machines about 10 minutes. I think there is some issue with the Photoshop large file format, because if I use a save as legacy and save them as JPEG, it's saved in seconds. I have an open case with Adobe on that topic and will let you guys know if I get any news. Or do you guys know what I have to do to make saving quicker with the Photoshop large file format? I think I will use the Windows system only when my solar power is up and running. If it's not so cold outside, my thermal heat pump doesn't need so much power than the Windows PC in some cases. Just think about that. I hope this was helpful for you guys and if you need a new machine for large scans or for Lightroom work, now you can choose what will be the best for you. And as always, I'll be back guys.